This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to create clip speed changes in Premiere Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to conform a high frame rate clip to create extreme slow motion inside Adobe Premiere Pro. What happens if I really don't want that really choppy playback? Here's an example. Here's a hummingbird. That hummingbird's wings are beating around 25,000 times a second. That's how they're able to hover. I'd love to be able to show that in more detail. So I'm going to select this clip, Command-R, and set it to 5%, and click OK. As I play it, look at what's happening. I don't see more detail. I'm just getting a series of still images that have motion blur that are just slowly plodding across the frame. What I want is I want to be able to contain more of that detail. And that is where something new comes in called Conform. Conform, this is a shot here. I took it from my hotel room in Vancouver when I was up for a visit of traffic because traffic is always moving. And Premiere is smart enough to know that this traffic needs to move at normal traffic speed. Except if we go back to the, the media folder here, the Hummingbird is at 29.97 frames a second. My iPhone shot that footage at 240 frames a second, about, I don't know, eight times faster. So what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to take advantage of all those frames, 240 frames a second, to be able to see that traffic moving in exquisite slow motion but in perfect focus. So this takes a calculator. You take the frame rate of your project. This is a 30 frame a second project. Divide that by the frame rate of your video. Project video divide by clip video. And that yields a percentage, which is 12.5%. So I'm going to type 12.5% and click OK. And look what's happened. This is now slowed to 12% normal speed, but there's no stutter. There's no motion blur. Why? Because now I'm playing every frame that was shot by the camera in order at the rate, the frame rate of the project. This gives me really high quality slow motion. Now there's still a need to create using software because it gives you the greatest flexibility. You have to plan to shoot high frame rate in production. But if I can, with a, with a cell phone, get video that moves like this, compare that to the jerkiness that we saw with optical flow on the skier, you'd shoot this option every time you could. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to create speed changes inside Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 243. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.